Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Ben. I'm from North Portland. Been studying at the University of Oregon and it's been an exciting, amazing time and uh, having a blast doing a lot of stuff. Um, taking on leadership positions in the Black Student Union, working on a speaker series with my peers, um, figuring out what I want to study and focus on in school between business and advertising, also just exploring creative passions, um, whether that's photography, music production, fashion, branding, all that kind of stuff while juggling a full course load, 18 credits, and working a job on campus. So at the point now where I'm feeling like it's a it's time to focus in, rein in what exactly I want to uh, spend more of my time on and coming up on a decision, a very important decision on what my focus will be moving forward for my sophomore year of college. It's been a great fall term of my sophomore year and going into the new year, had the chance to go down to Los Angeles, meet with my brother who's like, yo, let's start a startup. It's called Prentley. We're gonna change the world, how people shop, travel, and earn in their communities and deliver stuff to people faster than Amazon. So I'm excited, I'm riled up going into the new year, just trying to figure out, okay, I'm doing a lot. What am I gonna focus on? What's gonna align with what I wanna do long term? How do I use this time to set myself up to be successful and do something meaningful in my life? That winter term after New Year's, having that conversation with my brother, realizing that, that was, our startup was something I would want to put more time into, looked at my plate and just realized that there were certain things that I no longer wanted to pursue that didn't feed me as much as this opportunity did, being pursuing starting a clothing line, pursuing music, um, pursuing acting, all those things were um, opportunities on the extracurricular side that I just chose to let go because this opportunity, focusing my time and spare energy um, on that on top of school was uh, more meaningful for me and more in line with my values and what I went to college for anyways. Between that point till that summer, it was juggling school and the startup thing while doing all the extracurriculars, advertising, da 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 da. And um, that summer, my brother came up. We worked on it literally from wake up to sleep nonstop every day for an entire summer. And with that, experience under my belt, I was full committed to like, okay, how do we take this to the next level, the next step in uh, building this out. At the end of the summer, got an amazing opportunity to get into an accelerator program, but this program was in Portland, so had to make a pretty uh, tough decision heading into the core of my major um, in advertising and splitting up my time between that and going up to Portland, so that meant Mondays and Wednesdays, I was traveling to Portland. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, I was working uh, back down in Eugene on my degree. And de doing that for a month was very stressful. Uh, quickly realized, especially doing that right at the beginning of my junior year, grades were slipping and I was putting in 50-50 in both areas. And the biggest takeaway was, if you chase two rabbits, you catch neither. So I realized it was time to make a decision on where I was going to place my focus even more so now that things were picking up with my startup, but my degree in fishing that out would take a lot more of my time. Making the decision to leave school was stressful. Um, for a handful of reasons. One, I was juggling a crazy hectic schedule between school and traveling and going to a startup uh, accelerator program and then back and forth. So grades were slipping and had to make sure I reconciled that. Um, it was stressful because 
every direction I looked, people were telling me, don't do it. And I had to figure out what I was going to base my decision on, whether it was going to be on what other people were telling me or it was going to be on my own values and the risk I was willing to take on myself, uh, the bet I was willing to take on myself. And it was also stressful because there was no clear answer on how exactly we were going to make it happen. But we knew that we needed to just put more time in it. So making taking that leap of faith, quote unquote, and uh, spending more time in it was going to be the only way to do so. Being at that, at that point where I'm like, okay, am I going to make this decision to leave school and pursue this full time? Knowing the probability and odds are not in my favor in any entrepreneur venture, I think it's eight out of 10, never uh, make it beyond three years. And beyond that, those who do make it beyond three years, like 60% of them never earn more than a million dollars a year. Um, so uh, looking at those odds, knowing it was not stacked in my favor, but understanding the potential and the massive reach our platform had, uh, it made sense to me also thinking about where I want to be years from now and looking back on this decision, what would I regret most? Would I regret most staying and never taking that decision to see what could have happened or taking that decision um, to leave school and understanding that my plan B would always have that opportunity to return to school and finish that degree for that last year of school. From my previous experience, I realized the most opportunity to grow is outside of your comfort zone and taking that leap of faith in myself and my ability to build this idea and bring it to fruition, build value for people, um, something that feels like feeds my purpose would be an opportunity to um, explore something outside of my comfort zone, but meaningful long-term in what I want to do with my life. There's no better time than now. You have to use this moment in the most efficient way to, towards getting to whatever you want. And just knowing that school will always be there, but this time now to pursue this will not, was part of my values and my reasoning in that I did not want to regret not taking that leap of faith and never finding out what could have happened.